Stick around to the end of the video for your chance to win a free authorization for one year from Lonzor. What's up UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here in front of the UHS headquarters with this 2020 RAV4 from Toyota. This vehicle, we're gonna be programming all new Prox keys for it, not going the old route using the NASF account, a NASF code, having only 24 to 48 hours to use it, paying 60 to $150 plus, also having to get an OEM Toyota key, $150 or more. We're not doing all that. We got something new for you. Instead, we'll be using the Lonsdor K518 USA and the KH100 Plus, along with a Lonsdor dedicated Toyota key and the yearly authorization for Toyotas, which you can get right now at uhs-hardware.com by searching for LON TOI. The authorization also covers the Toyota Highlander, Avalon, Lexus ES350, and ES250. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna get it done right now. Come with me. Okay, so once you're in the vehicle, you have to make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi signal available, either a hotspot or something nearby. Also make sure you already have your new authorization installed and that you're pretty much ready to go. You don't have to have your OBD connected or anything like that, so don't, so don't worry about that. First thing we're gonna do is disassemble the key. Just remove the emergency key first. Just a little bit of pressure right there on the inside. See that? Pop that open. As we take it all apart, this is the card that we're looking for. We're gonna make sure that this is the side that you're using to place towards the machine. First step, set up your Wi-Fi settings. Make sure you have a nice, strong Wi-Fi connection because this entire process is gonna be dependent upon having Wi-Fi. So once we're connected, we're gonna go back to the main menu and select special functions. Go down to key settings and then select FT smart key, 8A. And then on the second row down, third selection from the left, generate smart key. This function requires internet. What we're going to be doing is using the PCB board that we already removed from our remote. And uh, once it pops up here, it's gonna ask us to put it into the slot, select a frequency that we want to use to connect to the car. So the frequency we're gonna select for the card is 314.35 by 312.09. Frequencies may vary. US frequencies range between 312 and 315. It's going to put that onto the remote. We're gonna use that to push the push start button. It's going to download information from the car which we'll need to continue. Make sure you have no other keys in the vehicle. Take the card, put it next to the start stop button, push it, wait up to 10 seconds for the card to get a good connection to the vehicle. You want a solid flash that continues for a bit. You don't want it to flash and then stop, do any kind of double flashes, anything like that. You want a nice rhythmic solid flashing that continues at least 10 seconds on its own. So this is it's not looking like a good connection. I'm gonna start this over. Okay, so that's a nice strong flash that's continued for at least 10 seconds. That means we got a good download. All right, now that we have it, we're gonna hit okay. If the Lonsdor unit fails to proceed past this point, choose another frequency and repeat the previous process. Hold our board here in front. Since we have a nice strong read, it has gotten the information and now the Lonsdor K518 is downloading that information from the card. Once it finishes here, we should be able to move on to the next step. All right, so now it's gonna ask us if we have a working key, which we do not. If we hit no, we're selecting all keys lost, which means it's going to erase any information of keys on the system already. If you want to make a copy of a key, you would select yes, but we do not, so we're going to hit no. All right, after you hit no, it needs to read the card again, so make sure your card is still in the same position, or it may give you an error. At most points, if this process does not correctly work while it's doing this portion, it could give you an error and say that it timed out, something like that could happen. You're going to have to start again. But if you get it generated successfully, we can now move on to the second step after we test it. We got an OK on that. So I'm going to show you again, the buttons do not work. This is not a working key, but it may start the car. So we're going to see now if that's the case. If it starts the car, then we're ready for the next step. 
If the car starts, but the remote doesn't work, continue to the next step. If everything's working fine, it's not necessary, you're done. Okay. All right, so the signal on the card is correct to start the vehicle, but the buttons don't work. So that means that we need to move to the next step to make everything work. Since it's partially working, we have to go back into special functions, head into key settings, FT smart key, 8A, Instead of selecting generate smart key, right next to it is modify remote count value. So what this is gonna do is basically, this function's only useful if you've already generated a key that doesn't fully function for the vehicle. So it's literally just for this reason. So we're gonna go ahead and just put our key here in the front. Nice and lined up and we're gonna hit okay. All right, so what it's done now is it's read the remote count value. So this number 1006, we need to modify by increments of 400. That's the only way to modify this number. It has to be by 400. So we're gonna add 400 to this, so it's gonna be 1406. We're gonna hit okay. All right, it's been modified. So we're gonna hit okay again, test it again. We get no function perfectly fine, very normal. We're just gonna have to do the uh, whole process again and modify it again by 400. Continue to add increments of 400 until you find success. Remember, the sequence ranges from one to F, so keep the letters in mind while adding. Three, four, four, five, plus four is three, eight, four, five. test. Hey, look at that. That's a working remote. Okay, try the... Okay, I'm actually going to zoom out so you can see everything's working. Remote. Check the door out over here. Got that. Little lock action. Emergency. Right, holding the remote here, put my foot in the brake. We got proc start. As you can see, now that we've changed the remote value, we now have full prox control, as well as all buttons are working. That's a fully functioning key right there. We got you guys next time. Have a good one. Make sure to leave hashtag UHS hardware in the comments below for your chance to win a free authorization from Lonzor for one year. Don't miss out. It's your time.